So the history of this, it initially was distributed in 1996, even though there were a lot of pieces of this way back then, even before that time. At that point in time, we had five process groups, the initiating of a project, the planning, estimating, controlling, and closing. It had nine knowledge areas, very similar to what we have today, and had 37 processes. Now, the PMBOK guide itself is revised about every four years, which seems like a long time, but because of the amount of reviews and, and all the work that goes into it, it basically takes four years to come up with a new revision. Now, obviously, some of us that are work very closely with it realize that maybe not everything we want in each edition um, gets included, and so we anxiously wait for the next edition to see if finally the, those new ideas got incorporated. And in this latest release, um, most of us are very happy that a lot of the changes that we've requested have been incorporated. In the third edition, they changed the controlling and estimating to monitoring controlling. So they made that change up in the process group itself. In the fourth edition, the 37 processes went to 42 processes. In the fifth edition, not only did the number of processes increase, but they also increased and added a new knowledge area, that being the stakeholder management area. Now, the sixth edition, which has just come out, has 49 processes now. But the big key to it it, hit, it has incorporated a lot of the other concepts that are going on and being utilized within the project management world, that of both Agile as well as business analysis. The other big thing that also happened in this latest sixth edition is the terminology has really been standardized with all of the other project management standards that PMI has, so that we're all talking the same terminology, whether we're looking at risk management or schedule management or program management, all these various areas, we're all using the same terminology. And actually, there's a lexicon they put together that supports all of these standards now. So the sixth edition came out September 6th, and it had a lot of the same stuff in it, minor changes except in the first three sections. Those are the areas which unfortunately a lot of project managers never bother to read or understand, but that's where most of these changes happen. Netcom Learning helps customers build innovative learning organizations by achieving a smarter workforce, adopting to change, and driving growth. We do this with a broad catalog of offerings, developing customized learning plans, and our global delivery capabilities. Since 1998, we have been empowering organizations with our managed learning services to help them read, reach optimal performance results and address challenges. We do have nine practice areas in which we specialize. They encompass people, process, and technology training. Today's presentation is from the business process practice area. So we all know technical skills are necessary to empower our careers, but do you need to improve or upgrade your leadership skills as well in order to accelerate your career? Along with your technical abilities, develop the skills you need to manage yourself, others, and business better. Welcome to Sarter Learning, a collaborative knowledge platform bringing the world's best business and leadership insights from Fortune 1000 leaders, best-selling authors, and Ivy League professors. Further, if you are interested in learning from the top American leaders, please log on to the e-learning platform, SarterLearning.com, and you can avail the special promotion meant for first-time users. Simply use coupon code SARTER10 and begin your leadership journey now.